We're top of the league. That's it. That's the intro, not tweet. You get the idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome in. It's episode 56. If you're enjoying this series and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the like button and subscribe over there or wait till the end. Maybe it's 56 full episodes is before you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for you that have done that thus far. We're marching towards 6,500. My friends, even though we have a plus six goal differential versus a plus 19 for Bayern Munich, we have a three point gap over them and Dortmund have woken up. And again, Armenia Bielefeld, hello, what are you doing lads? Leipzig has fallen off. It's gone all right, ish, right? So Bochum, we beat them 4-3. Honestly, disappointing. We had a 4-0 lead at the 36-minute mark. 4-0 is enough to rotate. So we brought in Luciano Ferreira, who is now our right-back backup. I made a, a different choice. It's not We're not going to ruin Peter's career. We're going to ruin Luciano's. Actually, Luciano looks like a pretty decent. He just has to learn the role. Um, Metin Yilmaz came in, and Balgan came in. And it wasn't like... It wasn't because Luciano was a bad right back. It's not like he gave us a 6.1, right? We just decided to stop defending. And they scored three goals. And so the last 10 minutes of the game, or maybe five minutes of the game, let's see, when was their last goal? 80th minute. See, the last 10 minutes of the game, we went to a four at the back with a DM, two midfielders, a right winger, um, and then an inside forward over here and a striker on park the bus defensive. That's what it took for us to close the deal out against Bochum currently in 18th, which is a surprise because they've been on the upswing. So it makes you wonder, like, did they lose a bunch of players in the window? You know, 900 grand out, 3.4 million out the season before. So not really. They've just had a bad run. There's their kits. I think they're sharp looking. Um, so there was a kit clash with our home kit. I've learned a lot about home, away, and third kits. Thank you to everyone in the comments and in the Discord community, which if you're not a part of, it's a lovely group of people, and the link to join the Discord is in the description below. And it's like, just because it's the home kit doesn't mean you wear the away kit unless there's a clash, and there's all kinds of rules around clashing. So we actually wore our away kit, which is the white with the light blue on top. I think it's probably still a little clashy. We should have worn the third kit. But FM decided not to. But I think these are sharp. I like the third. I like the I like the alternative colors. I don't know. I'm a sucker for alternative colors. Today, my friends, we're taking on Paderborn. We'll skip Eintracht Frankfurt and bring you back for Arsenal in what is a quite important match for us. We just need to get a result better than Villarreal at this point. I'm I'm not even. I mean, obviously, getting into the next round of the Champions League would be fan freaking tastic. So I don't know if my expectations are too low, but this is like the first time we've been in the Champions League in the save. Just making the group stage is like money. Yay. And if we make the Europa League and can make a run in the Europa League, bring that that Euro fighters, maybe that'd be a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe that's just too bar too low of a bar of expectations, considering we are currently top of the Bundesliga. What do you think? But it's not been all sunshine and roses, my friends. Adrian White has now got pulled knee ligaments right after he had a thigh strain. Is he the next Tim Howard in that, like, he's injury prone? Like, his hamstrings are going to give out? Or is it just a bad run of luck? I just, oh, He's determined, despite the fact that he he's yet to see the pitch for us because he can't stay healthy. Evan Rotundo is out with a pulled hammy as well for two weeks. Nothing, you know, egregious there. But we've also lost, where did the player, oh, he must be in the second team. No. One of our players on loan broke their leg. Thorsten. Ah, oh, Thorsten. Thorsten breaks his leg while on loan at Jan Regens. Why do I do that? Any, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, he's on loan till the end of the season. The injury is three to five months. End of November, December, January, at the earliest, February, March. Like, bravery will be a zero by the time he comes back. That's really gutting. Paderborn currently, I believe, fifth in the Zweite Bundesliga, so not bad. We are going to rotate a little bit 
with the Eintracht game and then the Arsenal game, like kind of mixing it up here a little bit. So Luka Podlek, Podletz is going to get, is that, is that his debut? Nope. He, he played in the first round game. Oh, that's, te it's all bad. Like, should we loan him out? You know, in January, if somebody would be interested in him, he's at the Zweite Bundesliga level. Like, the dude needs minutes, or he's just going to end up being a two-star. So I feel bad. So he's going to start. We're going to start Karim on the left wing back side because he's our third stringer behind Hanko and uh, obviously Shemekas is the starter. But I want to rotate those guys and rest them a little bit. So with us bringing Luciano in Mulke at right wing back, again, when you look at it, right, crossing, dribbling, whatever, marking's all right, tackling is decent, you know, he's, he, I, I think he can become a wing back, at least for our purposes. So with him coming in and him coming in, I thought, let's keep Hanko in and uh, Anel will get the start to give him another start and an opportunity. Um, so at least like, the mid middle of the park are like people who normally playing in their normal positions that are pretty good. Yilmaz can go 60 or maybe 45. Simons is the box to box. Uh, De Dios Martin Del Campo as the 10. Uh, Conceição as the inverted winger. I have changed it to when he plays. He's not a forward. He's a winger because his crossing is a 13. His finishing is a 12. Although he's learning the the forward part. And of course, of course, his determination is falling. Of course it is. Origi, I'm hoping to help pump him up a little bit by having him play as lights of Bundesliga team. He's got, you know, a six, eight, eight in his last five. He's got two goals in the champions league, only one goal and assist in the Bundesliga. And I can hear the comments now. And then Wahid, my friends, Ooh, four goals in the league. Get in son. So he gets the start. I have the, they play four, four, two diamond. So I have, um, overlap on the left and right. Even though it's Karim and Luciano, it probably makes more sense just to have Luciano do that, to be honest with you. Karim, you just play wing back, man. Don't get your decision making is not that great. Let's not have you bombing forward, but we'll see how it works. He's if he's gonna develop, we gotta trust him. We gotta we gotta, you know, let him leave the nest like a little bird. And he's just run right past our center back. Oh dear. Oh, thank you for being not good. Early days, but Okay, Frankie, Frankie, oh, good say. Oh, is that, um, wait a minute. Wait, 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 pause. Pause, is that our old keeper or keeper from another save? Who is it? Leopold, Leopold. That's not from this save. Bonus points if you can comment where we had Leopold Zingerly. I feel like we did at one point. That's just me. We scored! Yay! Get 10. <laughs> um, I will ask you, at the end of today's episode, the player we have on loan in Sweden, Majed, I think is the name. Um, That was a lovely finish. That's his fifth goal of the season. It probably said that at the bottom, and I didn't see it. Should we offer to extend the loan another year? Or should we bring him in... It depends, like, is he going to develop? A, they've got pretty good facilities, if I remember correctly, at the club that we bought him from in Sweden. And I'm not saying he's exactly... We now have two uh, players that can play right wing inverted, right? So it's it's less urgent to get him into the squad. The loan ends in November at the end of their season, right? We did like an 18-month uh, deal when we bought him. So is it better to extend that loan, bring him back and try and loan him somewhere else, you know, in Germany or to a better club or a higher level. I'd like your thoughts on that. Oh, Zavi. Come on, Zavi. Do the business. Oh, oh he's doing that. What is, he was like really upset about that. I guess it was a really good chance. My goodness. Oh, Wahid is a monster. I think he's six foot two. We got a bunch of tall strikers, so I can't remember what they all are. Okay, I guess they took uh, Del Dios, uh, Del Dios, Del, no, Martin Del Campo. I can't remember. Geraldo, they took him down. It doesn't amount to anything. This is a lot of highlights. Frankie with a, 
curious choice. Okay, but he gets it back. It's all part of what we practice. Origi can't get to that, but Metin picks up the pieces. He misses the tackle, dribbles around it. Slices it in. Wahid. Wahid! I can hear the I can hear the German Schalke fans saying, oh, Wahid! Yeah? Why do they gotta be German? Because they're in Germany. Oh, that's... Why was that a highlight? Here's one of your better players dribbling out of bounds. Oh, okay. Out, out of bounds. That sounds poor. Um... Is it Villarreal or Valencia have come in for David Henko in the transfer window, but they're only offering like 10 million. His, or I think it was like at most 9 million. Um, they work their way up to that eventually. And he's got a minimum release clause of 20 million. And I was like, no, nah. like now nah, that would have been a problem again. Twice. We get two bites of the cherry and it doesn't work, but Origi's looking all right. Um, I was a little worried that they sell him because he is kind of our backup left back, right? It's like, Ooh, that wouldn't be very good but I've been scouting some just in case because I think our center back situation now is quite quite healthy. Um, so we'll have to see what happens if they if they try and come back in. It just, you know, makes you nervous. Not nervous. Like when your player is worth like 8 million as the transfer value, if somebody offers you 20, you go like, all right, I guess that's part of life. Go buy a player for less than that and you do okay. Rifled right down the middle. But anyway, kind of feel like I'm rambling here, but is what it is. I, and I, I do think, I do think we've done all right in the league, understatement, even though we've had the Champions League in this game, because of the depth that we purchased in the window, Wahid with his seventh goal of the season. I said fifth. So that, no, I was thinking, I was thinking fifth in the league. He did have one in the DFB Pokal. Yeah, so sixth and seventh goal of the season. Those of you that said he turns out really good because you bought him in your FM uh, saves, um... Look to be on the right track, I guess. Good save. We'll take that. 2-0. I'd really like to get to a 3-0 before we start taking players off, you know? Gerardo, Origi. I was hoping to get Origi a goal just so he'd feel good, but he's on a 7.1, so he's feeling good. Zavi Simons down the middle. Zavi Simons decides to detour and then cut back. It falls to Origi, gives it back. He gives it right back to him. Origi slots it home! <laughs> That's why we played him. Get in, Divok. I think that was mostly Zavi Simons making that magic happen, but who cares? Like, yeah, I, yeah, there wasn't a good angle. Good decision making. Cuts it back. Good tackle. Falls to Rigi, and then it's a 2v1. I mean, this guy should have come to help out is how I look at that. Um, and he just goes like, okay, you're going to run at the guy with the ball. Then Origi's going to be open. And we go into the half 3-0 up, my friends. Um, you've blown them away. I'm not going to make any changes to the half. Just send them right back out. But lovely stuff. That gets in, folks. 20 shots to three. You might be going like, really? It's again paddleboard. But we are rotating, right? We can't... Look who our wingbacks are and our goalkeeper, okay? Like, we got a... Yeah. Oh, I didn't take Metin Yomaz off. Oh, dear. Oh, he's just... He's just done. He's turned him. It gets back in position, though. Anel is there. He's a big lumbering giant, but he's got good positioning, at least in that instance. Will he at this instance? Okay, we, we left the man, uh, Barack, there. Ran, is that, that's not our old, I'm so curious about these players now. Sorry, that's not the Bar oh, is that, is that the Barack we had at another save? Or is that, was it something Bar uh, you know, I should probably know better. But nonetheless, let's take uh, Metin Yomaz off with a 3-0 lead. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be Jakic. Come on in, Jakic. See us out. You know, players, does it dribble around in your mind? You're like, was that somebody that we owned? I don't remember. Dangerous in the defensive third here. Okay. Ooh, little spin move. Oh, just we. Oh dear, we ran away from the man with the ball. What are you doing, lads? It is a little Jekyll and Hyde-ish, is what I feel like, and it could be that I've made subs, right? I don't think he's making one sub, right? Just because we we added a better player in midfield shouldn't immediately result in us, you know. It's not like I changed shape this time or whatever, but it just seems like we have a very Jekyll and Hyde type squad where. 
we come out really strong in some games, but then like finishing the job because I'm trying to maybe save our legs and play control doesn't work as well. Or maybe they figured us out. Or maybe we should play like drop somebody to DM. You know, Gerardo is on a six. Gerardo is on a six point eight. Look at that, Anel. Oh, he's like Virgil Van Dyke. Get in, son. I think we're gonna be spending seventeen million if this keeps up. Origi. Okay, what we got? Oh, he had a runner. Oh, he gets Origi. Who's got two runners? He cuts it across into the zone of uncertainty. Divac Origi with his assist, and then Frankie gets the second goal of the season. Lovely stuff. That was mm, the zone of uncertainty. Could the keeper have done better here for our goalkeeping experts in the comments? I think if he dives, I mean, oh, I think he's supposed to dive to get to that. That's just my opinion. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get, we're going to get Peter Meyer because he's been very patient. We've played him in all pretty much second team games or in the under 19s. We're going to give him his chance. Come on in, son. We're at 4-1. Don't mess it up. Off you go. Anel's looking a little knackered, but he's having a good game. Bring on the youth. Let's go, son. And then... Yeah, Anel is looking quite tired. Batella is coming back from injury, so that's a great time to bring him on. Everyone else is just going to have to suck it up. Um... We'll wait till the 85th minute before we praise, considering recent form. There we go. They love it. They love it. 24 shots to 8. 11 shots on target to 4. I was hoping we'd see Peter Meyer make, like, something happen. But he gives us a 6.7. No complaints. And good. Look at that. Look at uh, Luciano on an 8.4. Well done. We'll take that. I was right. Well, he'd six foot two. Look at the arrows. Nice. So this is... I, I've stopped putting in bugs on FM22. Um, I'm sure they're aware of the the press conference issues. Do you have anything to say in response to Bo Vincent admitting that Schalke deserved that late winner? The comment, he says, is, yeah, we weren't at our best and they deserved that goal. We won 4-1. Late winner? Late winner? Our second goal, for those of you that lost count like me, was in the 41st minute. That was the late winner. It's trash. While we're here, let's do the draw. Let's do it. Here we go. Not Dortmund or Bayern, please. Good run. All right, my friends, it's Arsenal. Let me show you how we're lining up. It's We're, we're going to do the gig and pressing. I felt like we had a fairly even game. I know we're away from home now, but maybe we just go punch him in the mouth and then go try and control or something. Um, Penman back between the six. Patrick, Malik, Hanko, Shimakas, Simons, Jakic, Gerardo, Origi, Vieira, DK. I guess I should show you. We once again... Sorry, I'm going to go back. We beat Eintracht Frankfurt, currently 14th in the league. I guess when they came in, they might have been 11th. There might have been a result that didn't go their way. Early goal, and then we concede at the like the start of the second half. DK misses a penalty, and it takes us going attacking, overlapping, 4-2-4. Marson came on, like, kind of a mess to get a result. But we got a result. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just, it's not been easy. But I guess that's what it takes to be still three points. Clear. Look at Bayern. Plus 25 goal difference. Plus 25. And they're behind us. Not complaining. But I do think, I wonder if clubs are starting to catch on. We take on uh, Leipzig after this, like two or three days after. So I think we may try the control then just to be like, give us a break from run, 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 run all the time. So that's the news, my friends. Here we go. They are undefeated in their last five. Can we get one past Aaron Ramsdale, who, you know, clearly has been one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League this year? I don't know about in FM, but I'm assuming he's developed. Not playing Zalazar, because he, he went pretty much the distance, I think, against... Uh... Eintracht. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, it's not. Odegaard sends it into the Schalke fan stand. Goodness me. Goodness me, my friends. 
But we got 62% pos Okay, 50%. Okay, just had to update. I was like, wow, we're, we're doing really good, unlike the first game. But here we go. Patrick? Malik? Composure, Malik. Composure. What's composure in German? Anybody? We'll look that up. We got a translate app, I think. Oh, lovely ball. Origi. Origi takes the touch. He's drawn two defenders. Cuts it back. Oh, that was a good attempt. I mean, good movement. Oh, no, the counter is on. Deary me. Composure. And I want to hear it. Wait for it. German. No, no. Composure. I am paying attention. Trust me. Composure. Gleichmut. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I guess I should encourage the lads. I'm not going to look up encourage. Don't worry. Like moot. <laughs> oh, Penman, jump on. Oh, come on, mate. Jump on that. I mean, good job stopping it, but come on. Come on. Nabil Fakir, away. Good job. David, coming back to help out. It's Daryl DK. Get in, son. 6.4. He's... He's fighting for his spot right now. Wahid is like, I, I score goals. What's up, bro? Of course, now we're all tired. I, I can't... Mm, okay, what was that update that just happened? There was an update in the other game. It looked like I think Napoli had gone ahead. A draw might not be terrible. I mean, obviously, to get to the next round of the Champions League, it'd be terrible. Um, but... Come on. Come on. And I'm going to yell at DK. Not happy, mate. Oh, the bench. The bench is like, yeah, DK, what's up, man? You've been terrible. <laughs> He's like, you're on the bench. Like, I'm the backup goalkeeper. It's fine. I I may have missed it. The the backup goalkeeper may have already have responded positively, and I just saw it. But, you know, narratively, that would be funny. Like, yeah, DK, you've been trash, man. He's like, shut up. <laughs> That's cool. We're just going to let him pass in there a little arsenal triangles. It's fine. This is definitely not going to be a highlight for them. Uh, it's just, you know, upping their passing stats. Oh, attempted tackle by Kostas. Tamiyasu down on the wing. He's getting closed down. Oh, good pressure. Good pressure, David. Origi coming back to help. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Heavy touch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Glockmut. Glockmut. That's, that's, I, that, I think he was onside. No, oh, again. Again, look at this. What kind of a dude? Why did you hit it so hard? Did you trip over Shimikas? I mean, oh, the composure has left our systems. Oh, we're just not ready for the big stage, which I guess would make sense for a club that, you know, the last time we were in a continental competition, it was the third tier, right? Like the conference league. Go on, DK, run him down. Orange kit, hello. Oh, Origi misses. Costas is there. Origi's helping out on defense. Come on, Origi. Oh, they're slicing through us like a hot knife through butter. It's going to be a penalty, isn't it? Nope, it's going to be tap in. That's going to count, too. I think he was on side. I think it's going to be two. But let's review it, because that's entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm taking DK off at this point. He's on a 6.2. Wahid has been in good form. Do something, bro. Demand more. Come on, lads. It's not it's not gonna end well, I don't think. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's how it goes, doesn't it? Um, uh, you can do a pressing forward. Oh, I was going to bring on... Sorry, I thought I had Marson on the bench. I don't have Marson on the bench. We'll bring Zalazar off the bench. And he is on a yellow, so we will take him off and bring on Luciano. Oh, I left the overlap on. That's my bad. That's... I hate that. It's... 
I don't think the goals we've conceded have been because of that, but it could be the highlights in between that lead to it. It's a manager's fault. Berate. They love a good berating our team does. Zalazar is like, let's go get a set piece. Uh, almost. Origi. Collect. Luciano, the right back. Origi. Oh, mate. Oh, Would have liked this. I mean, Ramsdale probably cuts out a six-yard box pass there, but Costas with the turn. Well guarded, covered. Slings it in, though. Oh, good chance. We got everybody back. It's fine. Jakic. Don't get to Jakic. I thought he was going to heavy touch that. What are we doing? Goodness me, what are we doing? Glockmoot! <laughs> Should I just shout that out every so often just to entertain us? Origi on the run! Origi! The doinkage! He says, not today. I'm going to score in a meaningless goal at this point, but you never know. And then he's not going to go pick up the ball. Let's just skip it because the first goal of a 3-1 to one doesn't really matter now, does it? What if I had what if I had not had the overlap on? Intercepted, Malik. Okay. There's no way this is a comeback. If this if we if we equalize, I know that's two more goals. I don't know what I would do. I I might show you the Eintracht Frankfurt kits, because I don't think I did that. Ooh! Like button! <laughs> Ball in, uh, uh, don't give up a pen. It's a stick of, oh my gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> it's all over the place. Encourage, lads. You might as well try it, I guess. Let's go very attacking. Oh, I would have liked a little bit more Glock mode there. We just punted it. I mean, I don't know. Come on, Origi. Do something, mate. Ooh, ooh. Zavi. 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 Origi just leaves his man. <laughs> he just ran away. He's like, I'm tired of defending. I'm out. <laughs> uh, now I'm just mad that I left that on, to be honest with you. Far from please. They're like, yeah, you had us on overlap. But. Oh, Villarreal beat Napoli. Devastating game week. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, that's not good. This is a massive game. It's going to be Villarreal and Napoli. Because even if we win this game, we're not guaranteed to be through. Next episode, can we get through to the next round? Yes, I am going to remember to come in here now and make that change. I thought I changed it just inside one of the games and not a permanent tactic change. But apparently I was wrong. Pity likes. See you then.